Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to draw flamingos. That's the material we need. We need some acrylic paint. Pink, white, yellow, black, and some different tones of greens. A toothbrush, eraser, a pencil, a brush, and also a piece of white paper. So first, we put our paper this way. And now we are going to use pencil to draw a vertical line, which crosses the the whole paper and divide two parts on the left and on the right. Because we're going to draw two flamingos, one on the left and one on the right. So we use pe pencil to draw the ovals, which connect together. The ovals is a part of the body part. You should put in the middle of the paper and make a Kind of big, and then we start from the neck. The neck, the neck, the part on the right, it looks like number two. It's really curvy line, so we start on the top part and curve it down to the body. When we finish the right part, we can draw the left part. The left part is a mirror part, so when we finish the two parts, we can see oh they connect in a heart shape. And we add a small curvy line at the beginning of the top part on the neck. That is a part of the head. And then we draw the legs. The flamingo usually stand with two legs straight or one leg bent over. So you can design which style you like. And now let's start paint. We use brush, dip some pink color, and color the neck. The neck, we have to make it more thick. But the legs, it's pretty thin. The neck is four times wider than the legs, so you can tell here. And then we draw the circles for the body. That is the size of the body, and we fill the、uh, the inside of the body with pink color. And that is the main part we're going to start. We're going to use toothbrush from the body part to the outside, which we add some texture. Looks like a feather, so only the the base part. That is a wing, the tail, and some feathers. And here's the both part: the one on the left and the one on the right. When we add the texture, it looks more vividly. Because flamingo has some different tones of the feather on the body. Some part is highlight and lighter. Some part is darker. So we use some white color to add the, on the body, and then we add some light pink. If you don't have the light pink, we can mix white with pink together, and add the light pink on it, which combines the edge on the white and the pink color. After we finish some texture, you can see. Here's the final result of the body. It has different layers and some different parts texture on the body. And let's start for the head. So we draw the head, make it more bigger and more thicker than the neck, and add also add some white color and light pink on the neck. And let's start from the eyes. So we use yellow color for the eyes, and black for the eyeball inside. And then we use black color draw the mouth. The mouth is also curvy to the inside. Later times we use some white and the black line as some decoration for the mouth. That is a flamingo. When we finish the flamingo, we are going to start from the background. So I start with the grass. I use toothbrush as some green color, and do the vertical from the base. To the top, so the grass is grow up from the ground. So we do the vertical way, and also you can mix with light and dark green together. And then we use some other color to the background, because the two corners is empty. So I add some big leaves, different shapes. I use some light green, dark green to the leaves. 
because the flamingo is mainly is pink color. So I avoid pink color instead of use red, orange, purple, and some other color as do some flowers. So that's the final works. If you like it, you can try. I hope you love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.